sorry. He's very tired. I understand he's had a few surprise visitors today. But you tell him he's got one more. The name's William Butcher. Mr. Butcher, I can't apologize enough for what I've done, but I can't give you the information. But I can't give you the information you or Grace came for either. What was he like? Who? Homelander. Growing up as a lad, what was he like? I'm sure you don't want to talk about this. Oh, there is nothing I want to talk about more. And who knows better than you? When he was a little boy, five or six, he was quite sweet. He'd cuddle up to me. He'll have stories about Davy Crockett, Teddy Roosevelt. Loved the idea of the woods, the forest, manifest destiny. But you know, I needed him to be the strongest man in the world. So I went to work on him. He didn't even want it. It was for me. And that wasn't your only sin, was it? It weren't Homelander who wed my wife away all them years. It ever occur to you? The pain you caused sorry bastards like me. At the time, it was barely a blip on my radar. Tell me, Doctor. What's your radar telling you now? Do what you want to me, but I can't help you. My family would be in Your family's already in trouble. Because I'm about to go into that room next door to your daughter, and I'm going to bash her brains out. And then I'm going to find your two sons and their wives and their little kiddies. Your whole fucking family dies today. Or you help me. What's it gonna be, Doc? How? How can, can you be so... Oh, look at this. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know, I can't remember the last time I had a good cup of char. You're a doll. <laughs>